day 28 of the second run of 100 Days Making Comics. I'm Ox, and this is where I talk about my independent comic. I never forgot. About a drifter who wanted to accomplish one last goal before he could pass along happily. Um, I equate it to The Walking Dead if it was still about intention and purpose and not just about surviving the zombie apocalypse. Of course, that means there are zombies in my story. And I'm kind of just coming up with um, new ideas for promoting. Um, I kind of got backlogged on doing the daily sketch updates for my comic books Instagram page. So I'm kind of testing the waters and I'm uploading a new day every four hours to see which one uh, has the best rate of likes and stuff. Um, there's a couple different times but it seems like noon and like six-ish uh, are like the worst times just because uh, I feel like there's probably floods of people throwing stuff up there that kind of gets lost in the mix. Um, but I have noticed a fair amount of new Tumblr followers um, along with those updates and I actually am thinking about releasing or at least doing the first issue webcomic style and doing a uh, page spread every day or once a week um, for that anyway and like losing some of them um, obviously that'd be a brewing page spread uh, I'd probably pair it with that page spread um, probably do that one double and then probably just start with that page spread. Um, I'm trying to consider how I want to do it, so. All in the air right now. Um, if I did one page um, spreads for a, a week at a time, it'd probably take me uh, probably about 20 weeks. Um, I'm also considering uh, doing them, releasing them uh, for Patreon like that and then giving uh, behind the scenes kind of info on them. Um, just kind of what influenced the scene and what I was thinking and stuff like that. Um, stuff I didn't write in my notebook um, and then putting like the notebook pages um, and then the inks and then regular pages. Um, so it's officially in crunch time. Um, what I did for my 30 minutes today uh, was working on a bunch of secondary pages. Um, so I finally have a list of everything I need to do to finish up issue 3. And I've started checking things off. So I'll show you that stuff now. Um, So I've been wanting to do like their own personal sketch pages. So I'll put the zombie up top of one and the drifter on the other side. And let's see if I can show that off a little bit better. So that's kind of what the uh, spread looks like. Um, did that up last night and dug it quite a bit and just kind of knocked it out real quick last night so I'll show you that so that's one of the spreads um, and I'm going to tone it down a little bit um, just so it's not so colorful I don't want it to be distracting and taking away from just the pages so it'll probably be lightened quite a bit so it's kind of almost transparent I guess I don't know we'll check uh, but so knocked out this page as well obviously that's not very hard to do but the uh, cover for issue four will go there um, 
did the started the sketch page doodle. Um, that'll be the front page for the sketch. It's my little ox puppet. Um, it's where uh, Drifter and me kind of break the fourth wall and uh, have a heart to heart about something serious. Uh, obviously, three has some serious issues going down, so that's going to be a little uh, difficult to clean up. I don't know. Uh, words and stuff. And then got to work a little bit on the print uh, coloring that up and getting that ready for issue 3 as well. So that's all I did. It probably took a good a solid 4 hours to do all those and whatnot. Um, but I did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. Um, showed off Kevin Cross's um, sketch card I got in the mail yesterday. Um, and then received this. I backed this one a little earlier this year as well. Um, and have gotten to know her, and she's pretty awesome. Read through these all again today. Um, it's called The Makeshift Man by JoJo Scenes. Uh, there's currently four issues and a Christmas issue. Um, definitely worth checking out. Um, she does all her coloring is watercolor so every page is like its own watercolor um, and I want to do the same thing for one of my issues at least uh, where I do everything um, acrylic paint so we'll see how well that turns out um, I think I do have found what I want to use to do that um, so we'll, we'll have to decide which issue is going to get that treatment um, but check her out. She's on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr uh, under JoJo Seams. Um, visit her website. It's jojoseams.com. J-O-J-O-S-E-A-M-E-S -J -O -O -E -E .com. Um, she's under that name as well. I'll put all the info down below. Um, as well as I will throw uh, Kevin Cross's info up there as again. Um, you can check out his groovy stuff he has been posting. Um, and then I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, I'm just going to get back to work on it. Uh, but I got some of the last things for issue three. I think I'm going to go catch a movie tonight too. So that's what's going on with me. Hope your weekend's starting out strong, and I'll check in with you tomorrow for day 29, and I'll show you off um, day 20 through 29 tomorrow, at least the sketches. Um, I'll probably have the uh, big print standing around, so I'll show that off one more time, and uh, yeah, I'll check in with you tomorrow. Later.